everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to do channel mixing for your audio as well as how to scale up or scale down your audio for any video or video uh, any video or audio file uh, in native android application using the media 3 transformer library now for this particular output i am using a video file but you can use an audio file as well the logic will remain exactly the same because i am uh, displaying the video inside exo player and exo player handles audio file similarly you don't have to change any bit of code so as you can see over here i have this uh, i'll just pause this video for now i have this video playing from a network url i'll click on convert first it asks me for file permission this file permission is because i want to save this file to uh, external storage so that any user can access it so i'll just go over here i'll select my app okay where is my app okay so this is my app i'll just uh, toggle this particular checkbox i'll go back to my app so user uh, so this is a new thing in newer android devices where user have to toggle that particular checkbox this read write external storage permission are for older android devices but i have handled that particular scenario in my app as well now it would be very difficult for me to uh, sh like i can't really uh, show it to you guys the uh, transformed uh, audio but uh, yeah here is the uh, transformed uh, audio i'm not sure if you guys can hear it i don't think so you can hear it but just trust me on this uh, you the channel mixing part or as well as scaling uh, scaling down by 0.5f is done and also this file has been stored to external storage in the dcim folder there is uh, one more thing which i want to show you is inside locket i am also displaying the progress so here uh, inside the ui you saw an circular indeterminate progress bar but if you want to exactly show how much progress has happened i'm showing that as well so i'll i think that logs has uh, i think got deleted but what i'll do is I'll go back over here okay i don't know why the second activity was not created so i'll just i have created one second activity as well but i don't know why this activity tag was not added to this maybe some android studio bug i guess and i'll make that second activity as an entry point so in the second activity i am allowing the user to pick a uh, video file uh, from their particular uh, file explorer so i'll just quickly run this and in that i will show you the progress uh, the progress has been uh, done for the main activity as well but i think the logs got deleted somehow now okay so here as you can see i have a button called pick video i'll click on it it opens our file uh, picker and here you can see the cat video was stored inside of our external storage as well so i'll just pick a longer video this time and this is a 10 minutes long video so the processing will take time also so i'll just pause this video for now and the processing happens on a background thread so you don't have to worry about anything so i'll just click on convert and here you can see progress has been started displaying just remove this so the zero which you see is the actual progress the two which you see at the very front is the progress state so so here you can see it has moved to one it has moved to two three so this will take little bit of time so the output will be similar to for to that of the first video i can't really make that audio uh, show it to you but yeah anyways just trust me on that uh, next uh, let's get back to the code so what i have done is that i have created a native android application and i'm using xml layout but if you want you can use jetpack compose as well then firstly inside android manifest i have added the internet permission because in the first output i was playing a video from an uh, network from a network the file was stored on a, some server not inside my app not inside my project read write external storage for older android devices we require that and manage external storage for newer android devices where the user is redirected to the settings app and he has to give the permission just like just like i saw shown you in the first uh, output then inside build.gradle.kts i have added this three dependency exo player ui and hls and transformer effect and common are for transformation of the video or audio so add this and they are referenced inside this libs.versions.toml 
सो आई हैव एडेड दिस मीडिया थ्री एक्सो प्लेयर लाइब्रेरी ओवर हियर एंड ओवर हियर एज यू कैन सी हैव एडेड दिस मीडिया थ्री कॉमन इफेक्ट एक्सो प्लेयर एच एल एस ट्रांसफॉर्मर एंड यू एस सो यू हैव टू एड ऑल दिस देन यू जस्ट हैव टू क्लिक ऑन सिंक नाउ इट विल डाउनलोड ऑल द डिपेंडेंसीज फॉर यू देन इफ यू सी माई एक्टिविटी अंडर स्कोर मेन इफ यू गो टू कोड फर्स्टली आई एम डिस्प्लेइंग अ प्लेयर व्यू दिस फर्स्ट प्लेयर व्यू इज फॉर डिस्प्लेइंग दी ओरिजिनल वीडियो देन आई हैव टेकन अनदर प्लेयर व्यू फॉर डिस्प्लेइंग दी ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड वीडियो एंड वन बटन फॉर डूइंग द कन्वर्जन एंड वन प्रोग्रेस बार टू शो इट टू द यूजर दैट ओके समथिंग इज अपनिंग बट इंस्टेड ऑफ सर्क्यूलर प्रोग्रेस बार यू कैन टेक अ लीनियर प्रोग्रेस बार एज वेल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू देन इन साइड मेन एक्टिविटी फर्स्टली आई एम एक्सटेंडिंग ट्रांसफॉर्मर डॉट लिसनर देन आई हैव टेकन टू एक्सो प्लेयर्स देन आई हैव टेकन टू प्लेयर व्यूज आई हैव टेकन वन प्रोग्रेस बार एज वेल आई हैव टेकन वन फाइल नेम प्ले बैक पोजिशन इज जीरो एट द स्टार्ट प्ले वन रेड इज ट्रू देन आई हैव टेकन वन ट्रांसफॉर्मर आई हैव टेकन वन फाइल एंड दिस इज द यू आर एल फ्रॉम विच आई एम प्लेइंग दी पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इन दी फर्स्ट आउटपुट हैंडलर एंड प्रोग्रेस होल्डर आर हेल्पफुल टू कीप ट्रैक ऑफ दी प्रोग्रेस ऑफ हाउ मच ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हैज हैपेंड एंड हियर वी आर एक्सटेंडिंग रीड राइट एक्सटर्नल स्टोरेज परमिशन दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ओनलर एंड्रॉड डिवाइसेज एंड हियर आई एम जस्ट डूइंग रिक्वेस्ट मल्टीपल परमिशंस so asking for uh, multiple permissions at the very same time if they are given so this permission are given then we just call setup transformer for newer android devices we check for manage external storage permission if that is given we call setup transformer and here we are requesting for the manage external storage permission so as you can see over here it basically launches the settings app and the user has to toggle that particular checkbox and this is an helper method which i have created just to check whether that particular manage external storage permission was given or not inside on create i have initialized our progress bar as well as two input player so okay so just to show you like just so that you believe me uh, here is the running device and as you can see the transform video is also playing also if i click on pick video you will see three videos are been displayed because the new video has also been stored previously it was just two also if i go to lock cat here you can see even though it hasn't reached 100 uh, the progress state has changed so i am added a 500 millisecond delay because just for so that our app does not get overload that's why it hasn't reached 100 but you can also track this progress state which i will come back to in a bit so here we are initializing our progress bar input player output player and on button click we just call request transformer permission this is the code for initializing our input player this is the code for initializing our output player this is for releasing the player this is for on start so we are initializing our input player on on start releasing our player on on stop on resume we are resuming our input player and on pause we are uh, pausing our input player in case you might want to add one more check in on pause that if the sec if the output player has also playing some video then pause that as well and in on destroy we are releasing our player then inside request transformation permission uh, we are just checking for permission if permission has been given we just call setup transformer and if first we uh, if the output player is already playing some video we make it as null then we call transform video here we first show our progress bar and here i have just created an empty effect because we need to pass this i'll show you where exactly uh, this is for the video part but we are not doing any transformation or video right we are doing only for audio so this is the important part so i have created an immutable list of builder audio processor then i have defined channel mixing audio processor uh, mix to mono i have kept it as true if you don't want this you can keep it as false as well if you only want to scale your audio you can just do this if you want to do this channel mixing audio processing as well um, you can do all this kind of stuff even i am not really sure what this is like i am not an audio engineer i don't really know so uh, once that is done we are just adding it to our processors now here we are creating our transformer and we are listening added a listener for this transformer dot listener which we are extending and with the help of this we are also over adding two methods on completed and on error i'll come back to that in a bit so if i go over here again so we are just calling build here we are creating our input item and here we are creating our edited item and if you remember we had created an empty list so this is for audio this is for video so we are just passing that empty list which we created over here to this 
and here we are creating our external file and starting our transformation here we are tracking our progress state now the actual progress which you get is in this variable progress holder dot progress the 2 and the 0 and the 1 which you see at the start is for the progress state uh, the progress state not started uh, refers to 0 for 1 it is progress state waiting for availability and for 2 it is progress state available then the next thing is creating of external file so this is the code for creating external file just copy paste it if you want to then here i have created add video to gallery api so again this is i have just copy pasted this code so this will help us to save file to external storage and this only works on api uh, level 29 and above hdk level 29 and above if you want for below hdk then you can follow my video on how to save a file to downloads directory uh, so here in this particular code does not save file to downloads directory it saves to a dcim folder which is the recommended way okay so again i have just copy pasted it if you want you can copy paste it then uh, like i told you we have to override this on completed and on error so on completed gets called when transformation is successful so we are displaying our output clear initializing it saving file to external storage displaying toast message hiding our progress bar in case of error we are hiding both progress bar output clear and displaying a toast message now coming back to second activity it is exactly the same as main activity i only i will only show you the video picking code so if i go over layout i have one button for pick video this is same this is also same 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 and inside second activity everything is same only thing is we don't have video url at the start we only get the video url once the video once the user clicks on a button so here you can see i am allowing video only picker and once the user picks a video we get the video we get the uri which i assign it to our video url then only we initialize our input player as well as resuming it rest everything is same so i won't explain it i'll just simply scroll through this you can pause the video to wherever you feel like and copy paste the code So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.